we're getting ready for the flooring. We've got our foam insulation to go down. We've got uh, two inch rigid boards of closed cell foam insulation. Um, and then, so we're gonna put two layers of two inches, gives us four inches. Yeah, and an R, better than an R20 on the floor. And that's what we're really looking for. Um, we first, we're gonna just do one and I really, I struggled with that because I don't want a cold floor. Then we are going to put three quarter inch plywood over that. And we did the really good stuff. Uh, it's a 50 year warranty. It, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this has a sealant on it. And uh, it's very durable subflooring, um, tongue and groove. And that'll give us four and three quarters inch. And that will bring us right to the bottom of the door wall where we can finish it off with our flooring. We are at uh, four and three quarters inches right here to this lip. So that will allow us to bring our finished flooring in and land here without too much of a, a toe kick. So Jay is going through and he's cutting all the insulation, foam insulation that we sprayed on the bottom um, that I sprayed because I tend to get a little over excited when it comes to that foam insulation. Um, so we want to remove that so we have a nice snug fit with the floors. Jay and I were down for a couple of days and I was unable to uh, videotape and he was unable to you're a brat <laughs> I thought it was a spider crawling on my arm anyways um uh, it wasn't bad. Jay only had a, a brief hospital stay, but we recovered pretty quickly. But it did zap our energy for, uh, what, a couple of weeks at, at the very least. So um, I, I'm sorry I wasn't able to videotape like I normally would. You got the first half of the floor in the gist, and you'll be able to see uh, in the next part of this video uh, the framing and the finished floor. And I'm sorry that we had to kind of fast forward through it, but he'd get out there and frame a little bit while I was in bed. And, uh, you know, I really couldn't videotape without him. So he can live without me, but I can't live without him. So this is the part where That's you're supposed true. to. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So enjoy the next part of the video. It'll be a walkthrough of the layout that I showed you on the last video. And uh, we'll just, you're, you're gonna see an extensive amount of work done between uh, just the flooring that we just did and moving forward in this video and to the, the framing in that. Right? Yep. <laughs> okay. We're at the stage in the project where we are going to start putting in our 
finished plumbing appliances like our hot water tankless hot water heater and uh, our filters and a few other things in order to do that we need to finish and put some plywood along this wall right here uh, before we do that even though we made accommodations for the washer and dryer uh, to fit through all opening spaces including the door wall we're going to make it easier on ourselves and bring it in through the bay door here and just bring it in and set it down about 10 feet inside this door. The depth between the ground and the back end of the utility area is so much easier for us to do that. So in order to do that, we had to remove this two by four, uh, which is why we're doing it now. Um, Jay removed the two by four so we can get the washer and dryer in. We'll just pop it back into place and put the plywood on the outside, uh, on the inside of the utility space there and be able to start installing our uh, tankless hot water heater and the filters and the few other things that are going to be uh, installed on the plywood on that wall. Just for the styrofoam is. yes the packaging did its job <laughs> if we would not have brought this in now when you had to run around you where would you have gone to. you wouldn't have been able to so you can thank me that it was a smart idea you're welcome honey you're so smart <laughs> <laughs> i married you didn't i that was the best thing you ever did <laughs> So now that I've shown you the plans, let's walk through it. Behind me is the uh, sitting area, and I call it a sitting area because that's really all we have room for. We'll have a sofa in there, but that's about it. Uh, this is where uh, the kitchen, just kitchen cabinetry, dishwasher, sink, and then another cabinet, base door cabinet 24 will go. And then on this side, we will have uh, the upper head microwave base door cabinet counter depth refrigerator and pantry utility area. Right here is where our vanity will go. Behind me is the toilet room or powder room. This is where the shower is going to be. And this is going to be the multifunctional closet all along this area. And then we have the uh, stackable washer and dryer and then the bedroom. What if you can see, we have the shipping container, the storage shipping container over there, which has all of our appliances. And it's easier to bring it from there through the doors, the bay doors, than it is to bring it all the way around the shipping container. Plus there's about uh, a two foot drop uh, where the door wall is, as opposed to perfect spacing. And you'll see when Jay brings that in, he's able to just pop that up there and bring it in like that. It's just so much easier. So. Um, it was worth taking that two by four out and maybe working around it rather than try to muscle it through the door wall. So we got He-Man back here. What did you do with Ryan? Did he give up? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's clearing stuff out for the refrigerator. And I like this idea better too, because once we get the doors in place um, or the door in place and we get the uh, walls in place, I'd rather try not to nick um, up the walls if possible. I told Jay 
that I thought this was a much better idea. He didn't want to work around it, and I understand. But I told him I felt very strongly that we should move this in now. And if we did it and something didn't work out in the end, I get to say I told you so. So he's moving it all in now so he can say I told you so later. So we have a bet going. Well, we had a visitor for the fourth time. Heard somebody walking on the deck, came out and chased the bear away, but not before he fully destroyed the bird feeder. He just heard a hummingbird whiz by us, but he took off over there. If you can see that hole right there in the woods, he ran across the street and that seems to be where he comes from. It wasn't very big, but big enough to take care of that. And big enough to where I don't want to meet him face to face again. So we're getting ready to close up this wall behind us that will separate the main living space from the utility area. Uh, we spent last weekend uh, putting in all the big box items, the refrigerator, the washer, dryer, and the vanity. Um, the cabinets we are picking up tomorrow, uh, but those will fit through the door wall. Actually, all of them will fit through the door wall, but it was just easier to do it now by removing this stud that, uh, behind me. Jay's got to put the stud back in, and then we're going to uh, put a piece of plywood over uh, and at least address this utility space and get this nice and complete for uh, all the functioning that we need to finish the rest of the shipping container. So that's what we're doing. So this is it. Oh, you're a brat. You're going to get it. Boys. What are you doing over there? Pretending to read the directions upside down? No, I'm seeing if they did it right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is like the fifth take for this because he keeps putting an arm in front of the video. Uh, he's putting the paper in front of the video. This is what goes on behind the scenes. He seems like a nice guy. And he is, but mostly a troublemaker. Anyways, we have three tanks of copper and with an inlet and an outlet and that's all we need to run all the hot water needs for this unit. My favorite part of it is is it's going to provide the 140 degree water if I want it that hot and it takes up little to no space and it was probably twice the cost of a standard hot water heater. I think we paid eight, 800 for this um, I wanted I wanted a couple of things. I wanted to make sure that the output was higher because I didn't want to be limited to taking a shower, washing dishes, and doing laundry at the same time. And uh, this will do that for me. So, and the other thing was, is I wanted to make sure that it had a good lifespan and it had very high ratings. So, we... Uh, have a box that's maybe 14 by 14 in size. It will mount on the back wall and it has very simple control system. Even gives a suggestion on what temperatures you want for what as far as washing hands, taking a shower, or washing dishes. And there it is, the tankless hot water heater. And that is why we love it. It's just that box there uh, with the inlet and outlet of water and uh, it has the three copper tanks on the inside as we as i showed you earlier um but that's all there is to it this is the uh pressure tank for the well for everything for the house for the garden everything and uh, we just want to give ourselves a, the benefit uh, if it ever leaks um, so we're just moving this vinyl pan underneath it So what we're working on right now is we need an outside spigot and 
uh, the only way that I'm able to access this whenever we need to wash the dog or uh, primarily right now water the garden is right here on this thing. So, which as you can see is behind the big bay doors. So what Jay's doing right now is he is hooking up uh, a hose from the pressure tank to port outside. So we decided to put outdoor spigots for hot and cold on both sides of the shipping container. One right where the deck is and one off the back. What we didn't plan on was putting an outdoor spigot right here because we already had two sets up front. Uh, and we have this one right here that actually uh, services that. But in the last week, uh, we have been watering the garden incessantly because we need to and that means that I have to come and hook that hose up there every day and open the bay doors to do it so I want to be able to put it on a timer and leave it on at all times and well make a long story short it's just not working for us so Jay said I really want to put a spigot on the outside over here and so that's what we're doing and that's why we have to disassemble some of the work that he's already done it's a pain and it's bothersome uh, to make changes like that but in the long run it's less painful so now is the time to do it and that's the finished spigot just much easier to um, ha water the garden on the outside than rather than having to leave the bay doors open continuously, which isn't an option for us. Um, and as you can tell, uh, we definitely have a paint job in our future on the side of this. But uh, for now, that's way down on the list of priorities. But we do plan on getting that done before the fall, God willing. So. Uh, this is one more thing we can check off the list. Gonna catch Dad uh, picking my legs. What you doing, Dad? Getting some uh, <laughs> flowers. <laughs> Man, they smell so good. I wish you guys had smell a vision right now. Oh boy. They're beautiful. Look at him. <laughs> 